this is this is this is what what is this <laughs> for we are not separate but one into the body of god and i like how that sounds that sounds a little bit poetical i i do like that but it's also true <laughs> This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 10 10 p.m. on the 29 March 2018 documenting step number 27 from the book Steps to Knowledge channeled by Marshall Vian Summers. Okay, let's leave the book. Let's get right into this step. Uh, this step is called I have a wisdom that I wish to discover and indeed I had and indeed I'm discovering but let's get oh, come on don't 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 spin around now um, so yeah this step was done today on the 29th uh, matter of fact a uh, couple of like half an hour ago I finished the last practice it's a two 30 minutes practice periods and it was done today I have a wisdom that I wish to discover. Let's see what I write. Let's see what went through my mind as I was doing the step, I guess. Okay. Uh, after our relationship with a girl I loved very much, although painful to admit the truth that my own immaturity was the cause of the breakup, I did, and in doing so, recognizing that truth help me i did and in doing so recognizing that truth helped me grow beyond the level of consciousness in which i was back then maybe this is i not this this thing i didn't write in a proper manner like but i guess the idea can be seen here uh, the fact was that i was with a girl which i did love very much uh, but I wasn't mature enough I uh, and I couldn't see that at the time like when I was in the relationship it was not something I could see uh, mostly because in this kind of things um, I mean we didn't have both we of us didn't have the maturity to be forth forthcoming about what we thought like uh, about what one another and we both had our guess differences and we didn't speak about them and eventually all of those accumulating into the breakup i guess but uh, yeah after a period after you know even though i was kind of feeling bad about it but after a period after looking back on what had happened and you know just thinking just contemplating i guess the whole situation i i could see that uh, my immaturity was the problem and although it was painful to admit i mean it was not easy but admitting it was the um, admitting it and embracing that i was a immature at that time it helped me grow beyond that level of consciousness which just means that I had grown out of that I wasn't immature anymore it's not like I wasn't immature at all but I wasn't as much as I was back then so I guess it did serve me the truth it did serve me okay on to the next one this is from the first practice uh, when worldly beliefs had disappointed my hunger for truth seeking further and searching for truth for truth unceasingly 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 like non 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 stop wait no stop like i just kept on looking for deeper truth. okay uh, it finally made himself known to me and uh, it indeed made sense of everything serving me to creating that the life i desired of living so uh yeah if you t if you look at the worldly beliefs 
um, they won't fulfill you like they, they'll always do this do that do this this way do it that way and of course you know finding truth it it's it it there there must be you must act a certain way to get a certain thing and uh, I mean that's that's life I guess but when finding truth you know why that is and uh, you know how it works and you know why it works and you can see that it has always worked for you before even though you didn't know you was using it I guess so uh, in that sense uh, it does allow you to create the life that you desire yeah. that was practice number one let's go into the practice number two Truth is the ever-present spiritual hunger of every child born of woman. Uh, it is that which all of us is seeking, uh, seeking, be it conscious or unconscious. It's, it is its wish to give itself to us. Um, <laughs> Uh, and we can never be fulfilled until we have come into conscious unity with it. So uh, I, I, I do think that uh, truth is something that is calling us into discovering it because that's what we're always using, but um, it wants us to use it consciously so that we choose what to create and what not to create because many people are creating things that they don't desire but they don't know how they create that thing and uh, once you actually give in to the hunger and start pursuing it you will find truth and uh, when you do find truth you will uh, recognize uh, you will recognize that it has always been with you, but it's just the fact that you were using it in unconsciously. So uh, there, it will satisfy that ever-present spiritual hunger, which a lot of us tend to... Um, I, I, I did want to write this down as well, but I guess I didn't, but it came to my mind now. I mean, uh, this spiritual hunger that is ever present until we do find truth uh, most of us tend to numb that down with drugs with hard work with uh, non-stop work with uh, people with whatever distractions we all have I mean it used to be marijuana for me for a time then it used to be some alcohol from that time then it used to be clubbing for another period of time but it didn't satisfy me because I didn't find truth and when I did find it it did satisfy me and I could do all I, I could I still can do all of the things that I did before but now since I am with truth I know how to do that in a conscious manner so that it doesn't affect me the way it affected me before. So if I want to enjoy some marijuana, I can. If I want to enjoy some alcohol, I can. And whatever else I want to enjoy into this world. But the fact that I know consciously what truth is, that's that's a big difference. That's That's what makes all the difference in the world. Because I'm not blind anymore. I can see... I can see it. Shit. Okay. Wisdom starts where illusion finishes. It is the beginning of using our creative powers consciously and for the benefit of all living beings. For we are not separate, but one into the body of God. Bam, I like how that sounds. That sounds a little bit poetical. I, I do like that. But it's also true. Uh, when we don't give into illusion anymore, I mean, that's where wisdom starts. I mean, you're not, you're not living in illusion anymore. You, you are conscious of the dream you are living. So 
you can then manipulate the dream I mean just as just as what we call uh, lucid dreaming when you are lucid dreaming when you are aware that you are uh, in a dream then you can actually do whatever you want because you are conscious of it that happens in the physical life as well when you become conscious of uh, of it being essentially illusion essentially a dream but that doesn't diminish it, it diminishes it at all because it's still a learning experience and you don't have to fucking kill yourself <laughs> to get out of it in fact you can't if you didn't you I mean we're here for a reason we're here to learn some lessons and it, until we learn those lessons we cannot like get out of it it's it's an agreement we we have made uh, before coming here so yeah but for we are not separate but one into the body of God and also why 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 for the benefit of all living beings why, why do I say that well it's because we are all living beings when there's no separation doing good for the benefit of all means also doing it for the benefit of ourselves so uh, that's why for the benefit of all living beings because we are not we are conscious of being one with everything so harming another is like harming of, of self so I mean that's not a good thing right and uh, yeah we are one into the body of God like God is the whole of us united in one body a huge consciousness aware of every individuality that ever lived it's like we are fragments and when we restructure ourselves into one being that's what we would call God so uh, yeah this has been step number 27 pretty good pretty good I liked it a lot actually uh yeah so uh i guess that's it this has been cyprian g documenting step number seven uh, 27 of the book steps to knowledge thank you for being here for listening i hope you all are you are also um, doing the steps for yourselves because i i, I have found it uh, such a such a such a uh, a learning experience and it's been very how can I say it's been very very good for me to practice my own discipline because I don't always feel like doing the steps or doing these videos and editing and uploading but at the same time it's been discipline dis disciplining my mind and that's a thing we should all do because it's our mind that creates everything so Having a disciplined mind means you can do the things you want to do in a easier fashion, without without restriction, without uh, resistance. So uh, this has been Jibrianji. Thank you for being here, and I'm out, baby. Bam. <laughs>